Royal columnist Daniela Welser highlighted how the monarch signed her message to the nation, in which she pledged to continue to serve you with all my heart, as your servant. The royal commentator said the two fascinating words had been largely overlooked. However, Ms. Elzer insisted the sign-off carried with it a universe of meaning. She claimed the two words should have particular resonance for the Duke of Sussex, who is living in California with Meghan Markle after quitting royal duties. Writing for Australian media outlet Adelaide Now, Ms. Elzer said, however, it's an example that clearly Harry somehow missed despite having been born, raised and spent the first 35 years of his life as a member of the royal family. The royal commentator pointed to Harry recently opening up on how he had experienced burnout. Speaking during an event for mental health company Better Up last Friday, the Duke said he was literally getting to the very end of everything that I had, any fuel or any steam in the engine just like I was burning the candle at both ends. Ms. Elza said, Harry, for some reason, seems to exist in some sort of vacuum where he seems to feel permanently justified in telling the world, ad nauseum, how hard he had it back in his palace days. It is impossible to ignore the, accidental, study and contrasts we have been presented with thanks to Harry and the Queen in only 36 hours or so, the nonagenarian still intent on duty and who sees her position as a privilege and her persistently bellyaching grandson who seems intent on portraying his former life as one of abject drudgery.